What Connor Bedard is doing is absolutely crazy. After all the hype surrounding the first overall pick, after all the naysayers insisting there's no way he could match the ridiculously high expectations after a fractured jaw and surgery that knocked him out of action for almost two months in his rookie season, the kid continues to rip up the NHL. And he's now doing things very few kids his age have ever done before him in NHL history. This is Fowler who quiets it down off the stick of Foligno now. Hawks just not letting him get out of the attacking zone. Foligno and Bedard. Kurashev. Bedard. One-timer score! Like you read about. His 20th goal of the season. He's missed 13 games due to injury, and he still leads all rookies by three goals and 13 points better than any other rookie in the scoring race. The Hawks phenom had three points in the second period against the Ducks alone last night. That's his third three-point period of his young NHL career. How amazing is that? The only other 18-year-old to do that? The legendary Teeter Kennedy. That was 80 years ago. He finished the night with a goal and four assists, the fourth time he's had three or more points in a game. Just the fifth 18-year-old to accomplish that feat. The others in this exclusive club, Iserman, Francis, Howarchuk, and Gretzky. His five-point night ties the NHL record for most points in a game by an 18-year-old. And wait, there's more. He's now got three goals and eight points over his last two games. Connor Bedard is just the second teenager in NHL history with eight points over a two-game stretch. The last to do that, Dale Howardchuk, 42 years ago. That's 51 points in 52 games. Yes, Connor Bedard is the real deal. And here's the kicker. Despite how amazing he is, the Hawks are still brutal as a team. They're so bad, they're very much in the hunt for first overall pick again this June. Can you imagine if they won the lottery and added Macklin Celebrini in this year's draft? How would you feel about that happening? Should there be a rule against getting the first overall pick in back-to-back -back years? Elsewhere, it was an emotional night in Ottawa. The Sens called up 20-year-old St. Albert, Alberta native Zach Ostapchuk to make his NHL debut. And while he took his rookie lap, his mom was taking in the moment and reflecting well it's been a journey for us he lost his dad at an early age but i know he's here i can feel him here we got a lot of uh, support that's all i can say <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cry obviously a very emotional night for the entire family and then an incredible moment in overtime guess who was on the ice and stole the puck from Sidney crosby to start the play to win the game on the night of his NHL debut. A staff check out there in overtime. And a staff check takes that away from Crosby. Puts it ahead to Sanderson. A staff check goes off. On comes Batherson. Drops for Sanderson. Force Tusla. Moves it back across. Chop scores. Drake Batherson, overtime winner. Yeah, I was a little surprised when they gave me a tap and said, you're going. And then I, I saw Crosby out there and it was. <laughs> heart beating a little bit so I mean uh, yeah but it was I'm very thankful that they that they trusted me to, to go out there and, and yeah it's a good experience obviously I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life it was it was probably the coolest night of my life very very cool so a couple of kids stole the night loads to cheer about what did you think of Zach Ostapchuk's NHL debut the Sens are out of it so there's no real reason to keep him out of their lineup give him a chance to develop and give the Sens fans something to cheer about in yet another lost season. What do you think of what Connor Bedard is doing right now? Has he now proven he is truly a generational player? We know he's going to win the Calder. That's easy. That's a slam dunk. But what class would you put him into right now? Finish this sentence. Connor Bedard is the best rookie in the NHL since you've heard from me. Now it's time to hear from you. I'm really curious what you've got to say about all this.